Aging is universal. It's merely another expression of time. We all age at all times. That's just how time works. One might delay some conventional signs of it, but often at incredible cost. And the social pressure that denies our right to experience time through our lives can become very oppressive. There is always something that young people can do and you can't, and that can make you appear as less, less valuable for society. I see a lot of people my age who, who, who start doing a PhD because now you have the experience, you have time to reflect on it. Geriatric pregnancy, just the word itself sounds like your baby is going to come out of the womb with a long grey moustache. When you are uh, over your uh, fertile years, people will either judge you as selfish or will uh, show their pity. So before 25, um, younger adults, children as well, they tend to idealize an older age. They wish for autonomy, for freedom, for everything like that. And then in the mid-20s, this actually starts to change and people wish to be younger again. They wish for, for innocence maybe, for youth, um, for not being responsible so much. So there is this change. But in general, I would say that being old is seen in, in such negative ways that we avoid this identity of being old for a long time. So we see, for example, older adults pushing this border of when someone would be considered old higher and higher. So for example, I myself would probably, or a person my age, would probably consider someone aged 60 old. But a 60-year-old person would consider someone aged 80 old and so on. Um, because this identity seems to be so threatening to being considered old or considering oneself old. Sometimes you, you meet people and then they say, ah, oh, you look good, even for your age. Well, at that moment, we should act, you should respond to it and not be glad or happy. You just have to, to react against that. No, you look your age and there is nothing wrong with that. What are the actors or the people you like in, in your own context? It's people who have like an authentic face and, and an authenticity. But if you see people with Lots of makeup and all the Botox and the fillers and the whole thing. I mean, that is like really talking to, to a carbon board person or, or something that is not really actually alive or there. And it's like a mask. And that's fine. I mean, if, if people want to wear a mask, that's fine. But I prefer to meet people without masks. I would say that old age is historically quite young. So um, other phases of life are already quite shaped. So the expectations you would have for what to do in young adulthood, in middle adulthood, are relatively set in comparison to old age. But um, there aren't many expectations when it comes to old age itself and how to spend it. And I think what is a bit problematic is to see the development that um, old age is, is often depicted, for example, in the media in overly positive ways. So we see a lot of best ages there that uh, are very happy healthy, very integrated, very engaged, and some people just cannot keep up with that idealized version of old age. And um, I, I think it would be important to have a more realistic portrayal, um, a more nuanced portrayal of what it means to grow old. From my perspective, I think we have to see that, that in our current society, we still have the privilege to decide against children, and this privilege hasn't always been there. A lot of children put their parents away in some care homes and senior homes and stuff like that. So, well, that's the joy and the privilege of having children, you know? Please teach me how to age gracefully now in 13 easy steps. I would rather teach you to age disgracefully. I mean, I think that's much more fun. <laughs> okay.